China, as you know, is the world's manufacturing hotspot. But what you don't know is that they are also the world's leading arms supplier with their drone technology at the forefront. China has been under close watch by the U.S. for some time now. The U.S. Army banned the use of Chinese drones in 2017 for security reasons. The Homeland Security of the U.S. banned the purchase and the use of Chinese drones even though they are some of the best drones in the world. But recently, people have suggested that Chinese drone technology can be beneficial to the world in some cases. China has some of the most advanced drones in the world. Some of them can be used as combat drones that can do a lot of incredible things while some of them are regular non-weaponized drones. The country has thrived in both regions. Some of these weaponized drones can launch weapons, be used as spyware, and many more. In this video, we are going to be telling you all you need to know about China's incredible drone technology. You're going to be amazed at the wonderful innovation that is the Chinese drone technology. Some countries like US and Turkey have adapted Chinese technology to manufacture their own drones. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. As we said earlier, China is now the world's biggest exporter of armed drones, with a variety of systems in mass production. Chinese state-owned aerospace and defense companies supplied weaponized drones to at least 11 countries between 2011 and 2019. Between 2009 and 2013, China is thought to have sold 10 armed drone systems to two different countries. However, between 2014 and 2018, Chinese companies backed by strong government support for arms exports significantly increased their armed drone sales, selling more than 150 armed drones to 13 countries around the world. China wants to create 100 high-end drones per year by 2025 as part of its Made in China push. Sales of armed drones to Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates have all been successful. Other countries including Algeria, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Myanmar, Turkmenistan, and Nigeria have all purchased weaponized drones from China. But what made them so successful? China has a variety of drones with various altitude ranges. They are some of the most powerful drones in the world, like the GJ-11 prototype, WZ-7, CH-5, WZ-8, and many more. Since they have been unveiled and some have even entered the market, experts said that China has full confidence in its world-class unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV technology. So let us tell you about these drones to help you understand Chinese drone technology. The WZ-7 Soaring Dragon Drone According to the AVIC, the W-7 or the Soaring Dragon is utilized for aerodynamic configuration gathering picture intelligence as well as tactical reconnaissance tasks. The WZ-7 employs a type tandem wing aerodynamic layout, which is the first time such a design has been applied to an airplane. This UAV has been tested in a variety of situations and is shown to be reliable. According to the AVIC, it is the second drone that can easily traverse civil aviation routes. The drone's flying length and range are the same as those of civilian aircraft because it can freely cross civil aviation routes. A regular aircraft can often fly for more than 12 hours and 10,000 kilometers. Therefore, the WZ-7 can stay in the air for more than 12 hours and conduct intercontinental flights. The Globehawk, a US-made drone that can fly more than 10,000 kilometers, was the world's first drone with such capability. The WZ-7 has certain distinct advantages over the Globehawk. The Globehawk has enormous wings, as large as Boeing 737 wings, but it will be heavier, whereas the WZ-7 is lighter and has a higher lift force, therefore the W-7 is better in terms of pneumatic proportions design. The WZ-7 with its wing design and massive size has a long endurance allowing it to complete its intended tasks. The GJ-11 Sharp Sword Drone The GJ-11 is an advanced flying wing combat UAV with strong capabilities of stealth, penetration, and precision strike. According to the Aviation Industry Corp of China, AVIC, which produces Chinese drones, it can be used for a whole lot. It can be used used to attack enemy targets regardless of intense electronic countermeasures, conduct offensive air dominance missions, and contain hostile air defenses. The WZ-8 Hypersonic Surveillance Drone Now for the WZ-8. It is a novel near spacecraft that combines aviation and aeronautic technologies. It is a high-altitude, high-speed UAV for reconnaissance missions. This UAV can gather high-resolution photographs of targets under intense enemy defense and give critical intelligence and information for all units to undertake battle damage assessments. The coatings on the drones outside the hull range from light gray to dark gray. These colors allow it to blend with the night sky very well, a very subtle weapon. The color of aircraft's coating will darken 
motion as it travels from low to high and closer to near space. Experts say this is a tremendous vote of confidence in the sector of UAV technology. The CH-5 Rainbow Drone There is also the latest drone, the Chai Hong 5 CH-5 Rainbow. Sources say that this drone possesses features that allow it to compete with the American Reaper and the Israeli Heron TP. The CH-5 is nearly identical to the Reaper in terms of size and shape. A V-tail and a ventral fin are found on both UAVs. Both are 11 meters, 36 feet long, and have wingspans that are similar. However, the design of Israel's Heron TP differs greatly. It has a twin boom tail construction as well as a pair of vertical tail fins. It is also significantly larger than the Reaper or Heron TP with a wingspan of 26 meters or 85 feet. This drone can be used to drop bombs too. It has a payload capacity of 1200 kilograms which is about 500 kilograms less than the Reaper and 1500 kilograms less than the Heron TP. The newer Avenger UAV which was planned to succeed the Reaper has a payload of 2948 kilograms which is even more astounding. Even though it is operational, the Avenger has yet to find traction with the US military or as an export. In principle, the CH-5's longer endurance offers it an advantage in terms of operational range. The CH-5 has a range of 6,500 to 10,000 kilometers when used with the heavy fuel engine. However, China's poor command and control skills may limit the CH-5's operational range to less than 2,000 kilometers in actuality. For air-to-ground information gathering, the CH-5 has a range of electronic warfare equipment equivalent to other UAVs including infrared, electro-optic, and thermo-imaging capabilities. The CH-5 can also detect targets through barriers, enhancing its ability to conduct missions in urban environments. One of the most significant characteristics of the CH-5 is that it uses the same control system as its predecessors, the CH-3 and CH-4, allowing for joint strike missions. The drone's autonomous flight option substantially decreases the learning curve for operators allowing the drone to be controlled by an undergraduate student with basic knowledge of aviation after only one or two days of instruction. These are a few of the drones that we can discuss in this video, but you should understand what Chinese drone technology is on the front row for military-grade drones now. All these drones are mostly airborne and they can only fly a certain distance. Well, China has found a way to expand that distance by launching from the sea. How? The mothership. The AI mothership. China has launched the world's first AI intelligent mothership for drones with a self-navigating and piloting system. The vessel is installed with an advanced artificial intelligence operating system to carry out semi-autonomous operations and is capable of launching various unmanned surveillance systems and weapons. The specially developed artificial intelligence operating system makes the drone ship unique from the existing unmanned surface vessels. This is the first ever remotely controlled ship to undergo three-dimensional dynamic observations and it is capable of autonomously launching aerial drones, surface unmanned systems, and submersible drones. This mothership is known as Zhu Haiyun. It was unveiled on the 18th of May 2022 in China. This would allow China to launch and control its drones from the sea. Very impressive, right? This ship will allow for the Navy of not only China but other countries that acquire it to use their drone swarms to carry out surveillance, geolocation sharing, and direct targeting of adversaries' vessels. Even though China has not been able to gather real-world testing experience on its drones like the US, they seem to be very confident in their inventions. We can now see why China, a country with a smaller arsenal than major countries in the world, is the top weapon supplier in the world. In this video, we told you about how China has made a name for itself as the global military grade weapon top supplier. We told you about some of their best drones ever. This technology is minimizing the risk of loss of human lives and also reducing the cost of acquiring weapons as these drones are cheaper than man jets. What do you think about these drones in China being at the top of the supply chain? Do you think that China's position will soon be taken or will they continue to thrive? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.